What's up guys? We are here. We are here. We have the new dungeons in game. All the way from Giants, all the way to Predator. Screw Predator, but I'll get to that later. But overall, these new dungeons are pretty difficult. So I would say, if anything, you know, you know, don't take them too lightly. But overall, they are very easy to die. They're very easy to come up with a comp for. Uh, besides again, Predator, because again, we'll get to that later. But so far, everything's pretty much the same as far as like just how you run your dragon scenes, your dragon scenes, especially Necropolis. Necropolis is like, in my opinion, I really feel like Necropolis, like nothing changed. Like, I don't know if he has more attack, more HP, more speed. I, I legit don't know. But I feel like Necropolis is legit the same. They, they just added a beat closer to it. So, you know, maybe it's a bug, maybe it's not, but I felt no difference at all. So let's start with Giants. Giants, I legit all i did was pretty much just replace uh my array with a friend i used to run a wing league with lucian uh lauren crow win but because of the fact that i counted down the attack buff because of the fact that my lucians can't clear your waves with just uh my old lauren i had a five star lauren with triple flight rooms but now i had to add in my normal lauren uh and basically i had an attack buff and that's that's pretty much fine this team is around a minute which is again fine for a b12 dungeon but i feel it's really consistent you can pretty much run a lot of variations of this uh, I, I see a lot of people run like double lucian but i pretty much see the same thing it's a lucian a friend a lauren uh pro or land and, and like you're probably replacing a litter or pro with like another lucian but that's pretty much what I've seen. But I, I feel like this team is a pretty consistent and very attainable. Like you can replace Lin with like a Rain or pretty much any, anybody that's single target, like Ron, uh, Teor, just anything that can run some single target uh, damage. But overall, this team is very consistent. Not, um, hasn't failed at all, and it, it's pretty solid. I I think right now this is probably my Giants team going forward until I get some uh, better moves from my Lucian, and hopefully I can go back to the, my old team. Which was Lucian, Rain, Crow, Lin, and Mortal Fight Rooms. So maybe that maybe that could be a thing. But right now, this team is fine. I don't need to change it. It's all solid. Now we go to Dragons. I think Dragons is a big leap. Dragons is a big leap. Because this, this dungeon was based on speed. The speed for this dungeon is definitely increased. Uh, I, I used to use twins. Everybody used to use twins. But this team now. That giant, the dragon gets that immunity really fast. He gets it really fast. So you're gonna need a stripper back. So chilling is the go-to again. Chilling is now back in the meta, boys. Um, I would, if you have a chilling in your storage and you don't have a chilling, please get a chilling. He's really freaking good. He's really good for this dungeon. This team is also pretty consistent. You're noticing a theme so far. Fran, Lauren Crow is pretty much like the go-to. Crow is insane. Fran is insane. Lauren's insane. These three monsters are legit really good, especially for like with this team, as you can see, it's very free to play. Uh, you can get chilling from Guild Workshop. So hopefully you guys have got a good chilling and able to get chilling skill ups. But chilling is really good for this dungeon now. Uh, he's super solid. You can rid him on like triple revenge or violent revenge or swift whatever. Overall, just put him on a solid set, like speed crit damage HP, and he will do wonders for you, especially with the speed buff with the crit buff. It's really good for a case like you're trying to do B12 and you're lacking some crit here and there. He's really good to like just add, give you some crit, which is the, uh, the crit buff is 30%. So if, you're, if your monsters are at 70%, they have 100% crit now. But overall, Chilling's really good. I'm gonna bring it back because again, you get the immunity off because he gets it back so fast. Uh, I'm pretty sure people are gonna try to do uh, nukes again, but again, everything in B12 has a lot of health now. They have a crap to the health besides the problems. But overall, it's just like they have so much health now, and I don't see a lot of people, especially in the first day or so, basically of this patch, uh, single target nuking this. Unless again, you have insane nukes. But I see that most people are gonna probably have this comp. I see them probably, if anything, take out a friend for a Lin, maybe, but overall, I see people just pretty much running this team. It's pretty consistent, has the heal. This team is also around a minute, which again, is totally fine for B12. I, I really don't see a lot of people having like 30 second B12 teams. Again, unless your roots are freaking insane. But overall, everybody has this pretty much has this like core of just Fran, Lauren, Crow. And it's overall just totally fine. But I would definitely run this team. This team is super solid. 
It's uh, super free to play, as you can see. Very obtainable. You don't have to worry about too much. It's obviously just, it's obviously just rune, runes. B11s, it doesn't seem like it's a huge leap from B10. So if you can't farm B12, just farm B11 until you can farm B12. But B12 is a, uh, it's a big leap. It's everything is super tanky and super fast. So like I said, just go from there, you'll be fine. Uh, for Necropolis, like I said, I don't fit. I I'm, I'm using the exact same team. I I ran this dungeon B11 B12. It legit ran exactly the same as it usually does. So I, I legit don't know what it's increased for the Necropolis dungeon. I feel like it's supposed to be a speed increase or attack increase or whatever. Uh, but not, not much has changed. I really don't feel like. I really feel like it's a bug. I don't know why. I really feel like um, the dungeon's a bug and like. We just, I, they, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. But when I did this dungeon, like, I I was, just, like, trying to figure stuff out for, for Giants and Dragons. But for the crop list, it's just, I just, like, okay, like, was, was it supposed to be a challenge? Like, I'm, I'm confused. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day, I hope I don't put my foot into my mouth. And, and next thing you know, it was a bug. I don't know. But right now, uh, B12 seems the same. I don't farm the crop list anyways. But... For the people that, you know, want to farm the crop was for basically, uh, for vamp rooms, for like a Neo or something, or rage rooms for the first Bellinger for BJ45, uh, you don't have to worry about too much, my opinion. I think you can run, like, if anything, like Fran, Lauren, <laughs> Fran, Lauren, Fran, Lauren, uh, Raok, and then, like, uh, just Twins. Like, I really feel like this dungeon is not that hard to do, uh, but, yeah, you can Fran, Lauren pretty much every dungeon now. Which I mean, you could do, you could do before. That's not, that's, again, uh, Fran Lord and Crow are just insane. Oh my god! Uh, but you can literally Fran Lord like this dungeon if you're having trouble with it. I feel like it's the one dungeon that would not give anybody any problems because I just don't feel anything different. It it's just it's just insane. So move it on. Uh, Still Fortress was, in my opinion, it's not that hard, but you do need a beneficial effect blocker. That is very important. That's why I have Chi Wu. If you don't have Chi Wu. Uh, then you have my boy over here, Gar, Gar, Ergar. Like he's actually not that bad. Uh, so if you don't have him, he is available in the ancient, uh, in the ancient. It's ancient coins, right? It's ancient coins. He's he's available in the ancient coin shop. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Me saying this is gonna piss off Nelly. Nelly told me the whole entire shit that he's garbage. Garbage day. Uh, but. If for you newer players, he's actually not that bad. He, he's, if you don't have any like uh, beneficial effect blockers that you, you have uh, access to, he's really good. He's really good for this. Uh, I have Chi Wu, so I don't need him. But Chi Wu is like, uh, if you have Chi Wu and you have a rune, I would try. If you don't use Chi Wu in, P in like guild content or stuff like that, uh, you can put Chi Wu in like a crit damage build. Like, I have him on this build right now, like a despair focus build with uh, a crit damage. But you can ideally just put him on anything uh in the world but i i would suggest if you can put up on a great damage build so he just does more damage just so you can get through a little bit faster but this team also does around a minute i have uh, lucia just to get the ways and fran lauren crow because <laughs> it's all really good uh but you definitely need a beneficial effect blocker uh, it would be begging but there's also wind dungeons and you can't use him so again a guard she will really good options a guard is pretty accessible it's coin shop just get him Throw a bigger team, he works really well. His AI is kind of wonky. I'll, I do hope they fix that because when I was running him, he would not do skill two pretty often. He was skill three. His skill three is like a champ, but his skill two, he'll skill one literally until his skill three's back up again. It's pretty weird. But hopefully, you're able to, like, uh, you know, they fix the AI on him because, again, he was for some reason he would just do his skill one. He'll, like, like, skill two is up and he'll just skill one. He'll skill one over and over again. I had him on a violent set, so it was just pretty awkward. Again, fix the AI on him. He'll be a lot better. I mean, I think if the AI is a lot better, he'll be recommended more. I mean, he's gonna be recommended regardless because if you don't have a beneficial flag blocker, he's your guy. Or you can use Zake. People are using Zake as well. Zake is not bad as well. Uh, but you can use Chiwu, Zake, Nagar. Use whatever you got. Use whatever is accessible to you. If you don't have Zake, again, he's he's he's, he's literally an age shop. Everybody can get him if you didn't get him for the free event. Uh, yeah, he's there. He's pretty good for this. I will use. Uh, they are. He's not that bad. He, he has an attack buff. It's accessible. Again, I, I just every time I just talk about him, I, I just hear Deli in my in my ear saying garbage. That's all I hear. That's legit all I hear with every time I say guard. Garbage. Boo! You stink. But yeah, 
But now to get to this this piece of garbage. <laughs> this, this this dungeon is gonna give everybody a lot of trouble. It's already giving people a lot of trouble. This guy is is insanely freaking broken. He's so stupid. The left tower cleanses. Uh, the left tower cleanses. The right tower gives him a 50% attack bar and a speed buff. And on top of that, uh, he also gets stacks that give him bonus effects. And on top of that, he, when you when you're when you're playing with uh when you're doing still battalion i mean i still battalion when you're doing predator you're basically paying marvel from capcom because he's comboing the crap out of you guys like he's literally just like one two three and all of a sudden your team stops it's like it's, it's very frustrating but i've said it on this team it's pretty much a combination of like the team seppi brought up shout out to seppi my boy my boy seppi my boy seppi coming through but uh yeah uh, this is it's a combination of the team uh, instead of using chili i use rika if you have a rika you're not using it for bjr5 uh, Rika's really good for this because she applies uh, three turns of dots. He gets a lot of turns. Those dots just like take him down. You know, and the, and the slow helps to like, uh, you know, slow him down a bit because he gets a speed buff. So it, it gives you a chance to like, you know, not get just legit nuked by this guy instantly. But this team is very consistent. It's very good. Uh, Fran is wishy-washy. I'm, I'm cool on Fran. The only reason why is because if she you don't want to attack you don't want to reduce the attack bar of this guy so you can't use i tried so many units you can't use uh lauren you can't use bernard you can't use bella you there's so many monsters that are two way that you can't use and i had them two way and i couldn't use them because if you reduce his attack bar he instantly gets the turn so with fred Fran does that but the good thing about fran is that she also applies an attack debuff so with that you know, if he, when he gets a turn and he uses attack, it won't hurt you as much because he has the attack debuff on him. So it's all pretty, it's, it, it kind of, it kind of works out for itself. But overall, this team is pretty solid. Again, Fran, Lauren, well, not Lauren, not Lauren, Fran and Crow, but Ver. Ver is pretty good because he allows you to get as many turns uh, as you can humanly get this in this dungeon because he legit is going to lap you. There's going to be times where he laps you, and it's like, it's very infuriating. I was on this dungeon for probably like four hours, trying to find the right combination of teams that can be consistent, because I'm not all about speed, I'm pretty much about consistency. I care about my teams being consistent. I don't want them being like, I don't want them legit like, uh, super fast and they're always failing. I would rather them like, be consistent and like, around a minute, which is this team, this team is around like a minute 30. Like, a, like the fastest this team has done is a minute 09, which is just, this is not my fastest team. But it sits around averaging like a minute 30, which is, again, totally fine for this dungeon. I don't mind, because this dungeon is very infuriating. But again, if you guys are having too much trouble with this, just swap out uh, Rika with uh, Chili. Chili works great. He gives you a speed buff, crit buff. Uh, he removes that. Uh, he removes that. Uh, that speed buff that the boss gets, and he also puts in a, a, a speed debuff. So again, yeah, it's all pretty good. It works out in the end. But overall, like, Lord, this dungeon gave me too much problems when I first started it. But you know, I've been. I was watching everybody else. But again, the main man that came through was Seppi. Sep, shout out to Seppi, man. He's a god. Uh, and basically, I just took what Seppi got, and instead of just using Chile, like I said, I just use Rika. And Rika's pretty good. I think if you have a Rika for this dungeon, and she's skilled user she's definitely solid i have her on like uh just a fatal build with speaker damage hp uh i'm gonna mess up hp room but it's overall fine it works out just give her something with, with good accuracy uh and legit she's like she's great she's super solid uh but overall that's my teams for the new dungeons i appreciate you guys watching the video uh shout out if you guys have any dungeon teams throw them down below uh you know like the video if you enjoyed it Join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, everything. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'll be streaming today on Twitch. Well, I stream on Twitch regularly anyways, but just, you know, follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash the Juggernaut. And I hope you guys have a good day. Peace out. I wanna take a ride.